And Nehemia, I did something that makes it really easy for me to show people. What's that? I made mine into a necklace. <gasps> wow. We are now being joined by Devorah Daniel at the World Headquarters of Macor Hebrew Foundation in San Antonio, Texas. Shalom, Dev. Shalom, Nehemia. Shalom, y'all. <laughs> Dev, one of the things we did this year uh, for people who support the ministry, of, uh, who you know, give a donation of a certain amount, is that they can get this um, uh, silver round. It's one try ounce of silver, which is a uh, the front has a replica of a silver coin that was made in Denmark in the 1640s, and the back has the verse from the book of Malachi, which speaks about the coin that was made 2,000 years later. It says, my name is great among the nations. And there we have a coin 2,000 years later made by a Danish king, which is an example of one of many, many examples of a fulfillment of the prophecy of Malachi. So to me, this is like really a really powerful witnessing tool. And we've had people who have, who have donated to the ministry, got this coin. And what, you know, I've been told by people, they show it to everyone they meet. Like they go on business meetings and they're like, look at this. And people are like, wow, what is that? They can see it's Hebrew or they see it's, you know, at least a foreign language to them. And it's an opportunity to explain this is Yehovah's name with in Hebrew with the vowels written by a Danish oh, king. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So how can people, do we, we still have some of those, right? And they're available? We do have a few left. And, and what is exciting about this is people who are picking up on these silver rounds are literally living prophecy by showing people the name of Yehovah and it's going around the world and literally his name is great among the nations wow, and they, yeah. have to, they have to know about it first. They have to know about it. So they're finding out. What are some of the nations besides the United States where this coin has gone, where the silver round has gone? Naomi, I don't think you're ready for this. Yeah. I don't think you're prepared for this list. This is amazing. This is going to blow your socks off. Other than the United States, 15 countries. Wow. So you better put on your seatbelt. I'm going to start with China. China. Wow. China. Wow. And we're finding out, wow, China. Okay. And some of these countries, you know, you would expect, okay, Norway, Germany, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore, the Netherlands, Australia, the United Kingdom, India, India, Sweden, India, Sweden, South Africa, Israel, Taiwan, and of course, Denmark. Wow. <laughs> Denmark wants its coin back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know about Denmark. I didn't know a lot about a lot of those countries. Wow. So that's 16 countries, 15, including the United plus the United States. In my entire life, I've been to 15 countries. And I've traveled a lot more than most people. And so here's a really great example of how we can get this message beyond the, 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 the boundaries of where I could even go. Um, and Yehovah's name is getting to those places, not because of me, but because of him and because of you guys being involved and in supporting what we're doing. Nehemiah, on the coins, um, people can go to the website. This is what I think is so remarkable about them is they people can go to the website and on the right hand side of the web page, you'll see the silver round and you can click on that. And you did a video explaining about the original Danish coin and the King of Denmark that minted it. And, um, but there's another story to it that you go into detail with in this video that is just remarkable. So this coin, this silver piece not only has a remarkable start, a, a remarkable thing that happened later. And now here we are doing something as remarkable, trying to get the name of Yehovah with the full vowels out to the world. It, it, it's just amazing. And Nehemiah, I did something that makes it really easy for me to show people. What's that? I made mine into a necklace. <sighs> Wow. I don't know if you can see all of this. Let me get closer to the camera. Wow. Um, I took my coin and had it set in a bezel and had it, it's got a silver chain. This is a real statement piece. This is absolutely beautiful. Here's the backside that has Malachi 111 on it in Hebrew and in English. Yep. Wow. Um, here's the front side, the name of Yehovah with the full vowels. And people see this on me and they're like, wow, what is that? That is beautiful that you're wearing. What is that? And I'm able to share the name of Yehovah 
in Hebrew with the full vowels, there's people that have never seen it. There's people that may not know it. Um, and they're just fascinated with this. And I've turned it into a beautiful jewelry piece. And, and I'm not digging in my purse to try to, you know, witness to somebody. Hold on, let me show you something. I have it right here around my neck. And it just is beautiful. Now, when people make the donation and get and get the silver round, it's in it's in a it's in a capsule. Cause I guys, I used to be a coin collector. And so for me, like, you know, touching it and things like that, like it has to be kept in this, in this like hermetically sealed um, uh, coin, uh, um, uh, you know, thing. And it is, you know, a little velour, which is like velvet, like case, right? That, that, that's how I envisioned it. And you've taken this to a whole other level. Now, Deb, and people can do this themselves, right? You can open up the little case like you did and, and take it to a jeweler and they'll do it. But for those who don't want to do that, can we make a, a limit, very limited number of these available? to people who Absolutely. obviously it's going to cost, you know, it's going to be a, a larger donation because we have to have that done. And it was not, um, you know, it, 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 uh, it was expensive. Um, but for those who are interested, can we make a limited number of these available where people can make a donation and get it in that format rather than in the, in the plastic capsule? Absolutely. I have a really, a really good reputable jeweler here in San Antonio that I use. Uh, and I'm happy to do that. If anybody wants one, call me. Again, call me 800-420-8206. I'll give you all the details. It will cost more than the regular donation for the for the silver itself, but I can explain all that to you. But this is all set in silver. This is the silver bezel and a silver chain. So it's all set in silver so that um, you know it's higher, higher quality, higher integrity. So you can do that yourself or Dev can have it done for you. Just contact her 800-428-206. Dev, thank you for joining me. And I really do appreciate, you know, everything you do, Dev. Um, you know, thank the you. ministry can I appreciate run. You. The ministry can run because, you know, you're there holding down the fort um, and doing a lot of things in the background that people don't know about. Shalom. Woo, shalom. You have been listening to Hebrew Voices with Nehemia Gordon. Thank you for supporting Nehemia's Makor Hebrew Foundation. Learn more at nehemiaswall.com.